What's going on folks? Toolman Trev here at your service. Uh, that was weak. Let's try something else. Hey, what's going on friends? It's your boy Toolman Trev here. Ready to get it's your boy. What's up guys? Toolman Trev here at your service and today, today we're going to do a how-to video for how to build boat guides for your trailer. As you can see, I have none. They are missing. They are not here. Biggest reasons I need these is for my truck, okay? Because my truck, you can't really see it, but it has a cover over top. And when I, you know, look back to reverse the trailer, I can't see the trailer. I can do it by the wheel, but it's kind of annoying. I'm going to show you how to build these for under $25. So what you're going to need is two pieces of PVC. I went with an inch and a half piece, roughly about five feet. And I got myself a little cap. You have to get this separately. And you put the cap on tight and it looks nice and neat. two u-bolts okay preferably stainless steel or galvanized metal not zinc plated okay you can always read it on here it says zinc plated i'm gonna have to replace these oh no okay you're gonna need four washers okay got to make sure that they're big enough to go over here and not slide over the bolt now we've got washer locks okay this is for extra extra snugness so i'm all about being extra snug you know what i mean you're gonna need a tape measure to measure your holes a hammer just because you, you always need a hammer and a drill and a sharpie to mark your holes and that's pretty much it now this is what i'm working with this is old lieutenant dan okay now what i'd like to have done is put those u-bolts what i'd like to done is put the u-bolts sideways but i don't i'd have to drill into the trailer and i don't feel like doing that so what i'm gonna do is i have to put the u-bolts on this way okay see this it's like rock on but it's like u-bolts okay so this is what we want it to look like okay i don't know if you guys can see this so what i did was i measured five inches from the base and that's where i started my first hole now as you can see there's writing on these pvc pipes that's kind of what i use to use as like my line so that these holes were straight and that's kind of what we want it to look like. I haven't put it on because I want you guys to see it, but, but what I am gonna do is I am gonna do this piece for you guys. Let's begin. We're gonna get our measuring tape here. See the writing? So I'm gonna go five inches up. And I'm gonna make my first little circle with a Sharpie marker. And then instead of trusting my tape measure, I'm gonna use the bolts to line myself up right here. And that's where we're gonna make our circle time for the drilling okay so here's something to pay attention to i've got a little level okay i've got a little leveler on the top of here and that's what i'm using once i punch through the first end of this pvc i'm making sure that i'm level on my way down it's not perfect but it does help so i make sure that i'm a little bit level here and all right, so we're all drilled out. I think we're ready to lock stuff up here. All right, so let's get our bolts here. All right, guys, so before we get started and we actually put this thing on the trailer, I forgot one vital piece of information, okay? You're going to need a shim of some kind. Now, Trev, why do I need a shim, all right? You're going to need a shim, something like a 1x4, okay, or a 2x4, to compensate for that gap. Notice that on the trailer, a boat trailer, the trailer base is not as wide as the top of the boat, okay? So the top of the boat is always kind of hanging over. So if I put those U-bolts and the PVC on the trailer beam right now, right, I'm not gonna be able to get the U-bolt all the way up against the trailer beam because the boat's hanging over it, okay? So that's why we're gonna, that's why this shim is handy, okay? So I'm gonna put the shim up against the frame of the boat and then I'm gonna put the PVC up against it so it has a little bit of a gap. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here I already have my PVC kind of hooked up on there. I've got a little bit of wiggle room right here. And all I'm gonna do is take these one by fours and slide them in so that I've got a gap, right? I'm gonna take these one by fours. Okay, so I've got my one by fours in the position that I like. What I'm gonna do now is just tighten this up against the wood blocks enough to where I can start using my wrench. Let's tighten her down a little bit. Tightening the bolts on Lieutenant Dan. Tightening the bolts on Lieutenant Dan. All right. So that's pretty self-explanatory. That's what it's supposed to look like, guys. For $25, this is what you can have on your boat. See how we got some sweet separation right here, right? Now let me show you something, okay? I'm gonna show you something, and it might throw you off, and you might be like, Trev, there wasn't that much of a gap there between, okay? Now my trailer's a little special, okay? I've got a little gap right here, okay? And 
in the beams, right, that hold the boat up. And see this gap right here where this bolt is? That's not supposed to be that much of a gap. So the boat is way too much on this side. That's why on this side right here, you can see the boat is pressing up against it's the PV site, PVC peak. The PVC pipe, wow, holy smokes. Okay, so once I take the boat off the trailer and I tighten these back up, this will have enough room, everything will be gravy. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was quick and easy, probably took about 30 minutes. It took more time to go to Home Depot and get the parts. Hopefully this helped you guys. I'm gonna try to do a couple more of these DIY videos in the future. If you do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, drop a like, drop a comment. Thanks again, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you on the next episode. I'm up all night thinking what I could be. The same old question torturing me.